to another vlog. Today I'm at Six Flags America. It's September 8th, 2019. And uh, yeah, so I just went, literally yesterday I went to Six Flags Great Adventure. Uh, got to ride El Toro and a bunch of other stuff. But this video will probably come out maybe shortly after. Uh, I'm here to get my membership really. But I also came to get some POVs as well. Um, I also need to, I, I'll actually be getting a credit because I didn't ride Firebird yet, so we'll see how that is too, and uh, let's get up in this park. Alright guys, so we're in the park. They actually switched the way for their security. It's so much easier. It's like Six Flags uh, Great Adventures actually and uh, you can already tell the difference. It's so crazy like the difference in the park. Like so many people, it's just like the whole atmosphere is different here. Hey everybody! Hold on. I'll tell you what though, the best part though is that this park is so much smaller so I'm able to like kind of get around to places so much quicker. I'm gonna head over to probably Fireberg and do Roar as well. And um, I'll do two guys some like off-ride shots and whatnot, so yeah. solid wooden coaster I mean the back was a little bit rougher but it's overall a pretty smooth ride it has a nice amount of air time in it for a wooden coaster but after riding El Toro yeah I don't <laughs> nothing's gonna beat that for a minute at least for a wooden coaster wise but I'm gonna head over to Firebird now Alright guys, my day has just gotten really messed up because freaking Apocalypse, that was the worst flawless coaster I've ever ridden. It also was the worst, one of the worst coasters that I've ridden still. Firebird still, or Apocalypse was still the worst coaster that I've probably ridden. Uh, actually no, no, Mind Eraser was the worst one and Apocalypse is right freaking behind it. That ride was absolutely trash. 
I thought, I was like, okay, we're going up the lift hill. Color scheme looked great and everything. I was like, nice. That ride hurt so bad, you guys. Head banging like the whole entire ride. At Mike from El Toro Ryan, you lied. That ride is not smooth, man. That thing was horrible. <laughs> Surprisingly good this time. Like front row was actually good. It was kicking. Um, slightly, it was pretty intense, but this park is really. After going to the one in New Jersey, I'll just keep saying it. it's just it's a huge difference. Like the whole atmosphere and everything. The operations are so bad here. Like we were, it's probably like six minute dispatches honestly. But I'm about to ride Batwing now. Yeah, this park might be one of the worst parks I've been to now. Honestly, you guys, I can't do it yet. Like, the lines are so crazy. Like, it's insane, man. I don't... <laughs> and, like, I was sitting over here. I'm just like, oh, yeah. Like, they're going to take a minute. It's crazy. The line's not crazy long, but the dispatch for all flying coasters take forever. So, I don't really want to deal with it. But uh, yeah, found a little spot. Hopefully I don't get copyright for this music. But um, I'm gonna make this day really short because this park is just, it's, it's just bad. Like after coming from New Jersey, I just can't do it. Like the theming's not good, the, the operations are bad. I'm gonna ride Raging Cajun because I do need that credit. After that, I'll head out. Um, I'll probably get something to eat, get my souvenir cup, and I'm out this place. I really wanna, I might ride Wild One just to check it out, but like the operations i just can't deal with it you guys they close at eight o'clock anyway it's like five something now so um i'll finish the vlog out in just a little bit but i hope you guys did enjoy this quick one uh the next park will probably be king's dominion hot so get ready for that uh hot's gonna be pretty it's gonna be different this year because i, I know they got some new shows and whatnot coming but yeah so we'll check it out soon guys i like entertaining children's imagination i like this guy <laughs> Thank you. Was it after? Okay guys, I feel a little bit better because Wild One is just amazing, man. It's just crazy to me that it's over 100 years old and it's still better than a lot of wooden coasters out there. Um, back row was awesome. That was my first time doing back row. I did front as well. I uh, got the POV for you guys. I have basically POVs to honestly December. Um, overall, it was a good day. And um, I'll probably do, oh, Raging Cajun is the last thing I'll do. I'll head out after that. Well, I'll get something to eat and then I'll head out. I'm at Johnny Roberts right now. The park just closed at 6, but they're still allowing me to get some of the DJs in it. This diamond thing came in clutch, so I'll get that meal really quick before I head home. Um, that's going to do it for my Six Flags. I definitely had a Six Flags day today, but I will talk to you guys once I get to the car. Alrighty, guys. So, I'm in the car now. Finally. Um, Six Flags Day all the way. I mean, I don't really think you can really put it any other way. I couldn't really film as much as I really even wanted to. I've tried to show off the park as good as possible. It just, 
man, the staff here, it's not even that they're doing bad stuff. It's just how they were trained. They weren't trained the right way. They got the ride operators just stepping on the track and whatnot. It's just this park, oh, man, it, it needs a lot of help. And you can tell that Six Flags doesn't want to invest too much into this park anymore. It's sad that they don't want to because this park has a lot of potential. Honestly, it's in a prime area, D.C. Um, overall, though, I got to get the credit for Raging Cajun and uh, Firebird. So I was happy about that. Firebird was horrible in the front row. Uh, I wouldn't recommend if you need it for the credit, ride it. Uh, it's I wouldn't do it again. I won't be riding it again. I remember when I rode Apocalypse, I didn't ride it again. I still stand where I say, but Raging Cajun was very good. Uh, that was a really good spinning coaster. One of the, that was probably better than a uh, laugh track. I do like laugh track a lot, but that was really good. Uh, we span so much. You'll see in the POV. It was, I literally just had to stop recording because I didn't even know where I was. Yeah, Raisin Cajun was good, though. I really did enjoy that. I would definitely ride that again if I come back. Um, I probably won't come back here for any time soon because I just need to get the membership. That's the whole reason why I was here anyway. I hope you guys did enjoy this quick vlog. Uh, I know the vlog before this was so long. Uh, that was a huge day, you guys. I was there from like 9 o'clock to daggone one in the morning almost so like i said it was a great day um it was a six flags day but i did get some credits so i can't be mad about that i'm almost at 100 credits i've got maybe about 20 more to go and i know i can get that by next year i'll definitely have a lot um i know next year it's gonna be a mouthful of credits so other than that though i'm gonna head home thank you all for watching uh there's gonna be content just a ridiculous amount of content coming to the channel very soon and you just got to give me time guys like there are povs that have i haven't even finished bush gardens povs that's how far behind i am and remember i did the bush gardens vlog at like july so yeah that just shows um there's a lot of stuff i need to do and then you also have hot coming up it's gonna be crazy this is the busiest time for me but it makes me happy because I can make so much content at this time. It almost is like I need some extra help. So maybe I can get some help sooner or later uh, with some filming and whatnot for these parks. But until then, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. You can purchase some merch like this also on my uh, website. Uh, that'll be on the outro. Thank you all once again. And until next time, you guys, peace out.